Welcome into the Weekly Warrior Preview. I'm Donette Logan with Jerry Young. And Jerry, it's been a busy time for me, but you've been relaxing at the beach. Yeah, you know, you and I usually run into each other on aisle seven up here at the grocery store once a week or thereabouts. <laughs> she buys celery and apples, and I'm over <laughs> on the pork aisle, okay? Can you tell? But we didn't run into each other, so I've been kind of out playing on the beach, and you've been working. I've been working, getting to know all the spring teams at Thompson High School. We're going to introduce you to some of the members of the baseball team and the tennis team. And you had an interesting conversation with Seth about recruiting. Yeah, we've got a lot to talk about on that segment, too, so stay tuned for that. We'll be right back here on the Weekly Warrior Preview. The Sassy Shopper has moved to a brand new location. New apparel, gifts, jewelry, pampering, and much more. Go check them out, 224 Kent Stone Boulevard, behind Starbucks. At Albritton and Artavino Family Dentistry, we know how valuable your time is. So if it's a crown you need, let us take care of it with our same-day crown service. We have the latest technology allowing us to build your custom crown right here in our office while you wait. Albritton and Artavino Family Dentistry is here to serve you. Go Warriors! Brooklier Pharmacy on Highway 119 is a full-service pharmacy that provides top-quality products and hometown service at competitive prices. The Brooklier family has been in business for more than 50 years and is proud to be a part of Alabaster. Go Warriors! For quality pest control service from an experienced and reliable company, Mr. Bugs offers residential and commercial pest and termite control service. And we can even take care of your lawn. Mr. Bugs Pest Patrol, 205-663-1919. Gym Time in Alabaster is open 24-7. They have personal training, group exercise, a smoothie bar, and any weight equipment you can need. Plus, they have tanning beds. Visit them at gymtime.fitness. Your gym, your fitness, your time. There's a lot of uncertainty in the world right now, but one thing I'm sure of is the expertise of the Envirosol team. Envirosol offers custom commercial cleaning and germ remediation services for residential and commercial customers. They guarantee excellent service every time. Call today, 205-229-7650 or visit them at myenvirosol.com. Welcome back in, everyone. Well, Donette, let's talk about baseball. And the only reason I really love baseball, it's the only sport I ever played that I was kind of good at, okay? <laughs> so baseball's dear to my heart. And I played football and basketball, but I wasn't good at it. Well, I don't know. I'm, does a man ever admit he's not good at no, it? No, you uh, guys don't want to admit anything wrong. <laughs> that's right. But anyway, I understand baseball, and I know you uh, went out to the practice field, right? I did. You know, in our Thompson Warriors, they've had a – up and down season, it's, it's not a like a talent on the field. The talent there, they have a strong competition in 7A like every sport does. We went out to practice and talked with Coach Hamrick and two of his players. We're here at Thompson High School with Thompson baseball coach, Coach Hamrick. Thanks for joining us. I know we have two players. I'm going to let you guys introduce yourself. Let's start with you, Trey. Uh, my name is Trey Plunkett. My name is Logan Branchois. Thank you, guys. I know it's in the middle of a schedule and it's kind of Busy time for you guys, so I appreciate you getting us in. I was talking to you earlier, and your schedule is kind of, you've got the talent. It's there. It's strong on the field. And when you see the games, the wins and losses, the losses are by a player, too. And we're talking about that. Talk a little bit about what we're seeing from you guys on the field. Uh, well, I mean, we played a very difficult schedule. We faced a lot of uh, pitcher, or a lot of teams, number one pitcher. And we lost some confidence at the plate earlier in the year. Now we're starting to swing the bats uh, better, so now it's time for us to start putting all three components together. Uh, area play starts this week against Oak Mountain, followed by Tuscaloosa County and Hoover, and those are uh, three-game series, and, you know, we just got to start peaking at the right time. Look, I'm going to go to you now, and I know, you know, when you talk about baseball, it's not like your other sports. You guys started off hard. You win the season hard. There's no tournament. I mean, it is like this is it for you guys. How do you think that makes your sport stand out a little bit different than other sports on the field when it comes to practicing and preparing for that? Well, it's more of a mental sport. So if you're not really in your head, then there's not much you can really do about it because it, it's all it's a lot of mental. And you really have to put in a lot of work on the field to get what you get in the game. So I feel like the more work you put in, the better it's going to turn out for the team. Trey, you're kind of a utility pitcher there. and You kind of play a lot of different positions. So I know you see the team on all sides, 7A. They try to rank them for baseball 7A, but when I looked at how they rank them, no one really stands out as number one. 
it looks like it's an even field for you guys. So knowing that and knowing you have one of the hardest divisions in the state, and now you start this play, what do you think you guys need to have the mentality going into area play? I think we have to have the mentality that we're just as good as anybody else. And we have to play not down to anybody, but up to everybody. So we're winning every game, playing as hard as we can. Coach, I know we didn't get on the, on the field last season, now we're back. So that kind of did affect some of the players on if they've had that playing time and not. Did you think we'd be here this season? Well, it really wasn't sure when the se uh, school year started, if we would make it all the way to uh, baseball season. Right. Uh, you know, as the uh, COVID started peaking and so forth, but luckily we have. Uh, and, you know, last year we didn't get to play any area play. So we have two players that have uh, area experience. And, uh, you know, we have some that played last year, but they didn't play in the area, which is at a total different level of baseball. Because, like we said, you have nine games that matter. So you've got to, uh, it's going to be intense baseball. And uh, hopefully these guys will, you know, like I said earlier, start peaking at the right time and we'll, we'll pull it off. Okay, it kind of pulls me into you guys for COVID part. You know, we've seen our high school seniors, I'd hate to say get overlooked by our college recruiters, but they almost have because of the extra year eligibility. But you guys have signed. Mm -hmm. So can you tell us where you'll play next year? I'm playing at Sneed State Community College in uh, Boaz, Alabama. And then I'm playing at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. So we'll get to see you guys a little local still, even after, after you graduate. Coach, where can we find your schedule? Uh, I mean, you can look online at the, our school website. Uh, no also, Preps. we have uh, Max Preps. We also have a, a Twitter account at uh, Thompson Baseball, and uh, just uh, you know, we all we're always tweeting stuff out. So just you know, on game day, come out and follow us. Absolutely. Thank you. Mentioned those last nine games. Those are key games. We want to make sure you feel the stands for that. Thank you guys so much for joining no, no us. No problem. Thank you. Welcome back in, everyone. Joined now by Seth Hagen. Our recruiting expert. How you like that? Yes. Oh, I love Can it. Can we give you that title? See, uh, there's a uh, ring to that. And we might put that on the little screen right up there under mm. recruiting expert. Talk about right. Thompson. It's going to be all football today, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, big, big news right off the top. Peter Woods and Tony Mitchell each received a five-star rating from 24-7 sports, and that is just huge because we already know that Jer Jeremiah Alexander has a five-star, so now you have three five-star prospects starting on the defense, and that is just mind-blowing, Jerry. Both Tony and Peter both rated number one at their position, and Peter is ranked as the number two prospect in the entire country. Tony, not far behind him at number 11, so just really amazing. Congratulations to those guys. We, we've we known the secret about those guys for a long time, right. but now the rest of the nation is finding out about it. Well, five star is a big deal. You yeah. know, it just changes the way people look at you across the country and everything Absolutely. else. Although there are a lot of three star guys that are playing in the NFL that never came in through Absolutely. colleges. It's not and there's a lot of five star guys that are sitting at home right. washing cars right now that didn't make it to the <laughs> NFL. But that's always a good ground, and, and the people that give those stars out don't give them out easily. Right, absolutely. And they're not alone. We got a bunch of kids, uh, Thompson Football, Jake Gaines, keeping me really up to date with all the uh, news there recruiting wise. We will bring back 13 players, Jerry, with Division I scholarship offers in the fall. Just amazing. And the 2022 class, class alone has almost 70 total scholarships among them. So that let me let me start right there. Wait a minute. Repeat that now because people don't understand. Yeah. We have 13 returning starters with yeah. D1 offers. With D1 offers. And then a total of how many with offers? With just, just this senior class alone, 2022, almost 70 combined among them. Just amazing. There you go, folks. Want to yeah. know why we're so good? That's why. Okay. There you go. Sorry. Keep All going. Right. So starting with offense, you got to go with Joining Ryan Peppins because we're going to have three wide receivers coming back with D1 offers as well. So Ryan's already got eight. Jalen Ward joined the team. He got his uh, 14th offer from South Alabama. And he's released his top five schools as well. Among them, Florida State, West Virginia, Indiana, Coastal Carolina, and Virginia Tech. So Jalen's a big body guy in the same vein as J.B. Mitchell. Big hands, big wingspan. Can't wait to see him. Along with him, David Moultrie also got an offer from Air Force and Army, he's going to play wide receiver as well. And these guys are just really talented, played ball with Ryan Peppins growing up, and it's going to be amazing to see them reunite. Yeah, and a lot of the reason you haven't heard those names before is they weren't on the team last year. They are uh, young men that moved into Alabaster, and that's yeah. why they're playing for Thompson. That's right. And the guy who's going to be pitching them the ball, he has had one heck of an offseason right, so as well. So this is the Connor Harrell segment, okay? Yeah. I mean, our weekly single, segment. Our <laughs> weekly segment. How many more offers has Connor Harrell got? He's gotten five more. He's got 25-plus. And, I mean, he's his offseason has been absolutely incredible. Washington State, TCU, 
Houston, South Florida, and Memphis all jumped on the train. And, uh, I mean, Connor's going to be amazing. He's got an excellent wide receiver core to throw to, and I'm very excited for him. Yeah, I remember last year, it always the question was, you know, the year before, well, can Sawyer Pate fill tongue of lower shoes? Can Connor fill Sawyer's shoes? Right. <laughs> Man, who are we going to be talking about this time next year? Who can fill? I'm telling you what. Let's talk about Amon Lane. Absolutely. He has been one of the big surprise storylines from this offseason. Just a sophomore, Jerry, but incredibly huge offers. Mid-March, got it rolling, Tennessee and Ole Miss, but then Maryland, Florida State, Michigan, North Texas, and then Auburn University all offered him. And then it all kind of crested when he was invited to the 2024 Under Armour All-American game. I mean, this is a kid, he's 6'1", 200 pounds, just the prototype defensive back that you like. Yeah, and listen, folks, I don't know if you caught that. He's a sophomore. Right. Just a sophomore. Just a sophomore, okay, yeah. with these kind of offers already. And accepting that invite, it's incredible, Jerry. Right. We will have three consecutive classes representing Thompson at the Under Armour All-Star Game. I mean, that is unbelievable. Right. All right. Finish up with one of our favorite players, Jax oh, yeah. Van Zant. Yeah. He is Mr. Everything on the field. He really is. Captain of our defense, and the kid is getting the recognition that he so well deserves. I mean, I've been hearing about this kid for three years. His acumen is second to none on the team. He's adding more offers, five more, Air Force, Army, UAB, Akron, Arkansas State, and, New and North Texas have all offered him since mid-March. North Texas had to re-offer. They had a new uh, coaching staff, but they quickly realized, yeah, we're going to re-offer this guy because Jax is amazing. And uh, just congratulations to all these guys. We see you guys working hard out there, and you're representing Thompson so well, so congratulations. That's right. A lot of great kids, too. I mean, when we talk about that, they're great football players. they got great parents and great kids. And, you know, yeah. we kind of stumbled over one important name that didn't get enough on this show, mm -hmm. Jeremiah Alexander. We we talk about him all the time, but yeah. he, do you know how many total offer he offers? He, oh, he has? has he has well over thirty, so, he, but he has right. he has chopped it down to about ten. So he's really just looking at the big ones right now, and it's just a, a list of blue blood. So Jeremiah, he's going to be obviously leading this team, a five star ranking on his own. And I mean, just just think about how stacked this defense is to go with Mark Freeman's offense. It's almost not fair. I'm going to get my picture made with some of those guys this year. Okay, <laughs> thank you, Seth. Thanks, man. Thanks again to Seth Hagen for joining us. A lot going on there. Okay, Donette. Tennis, right? Yes. Back okay. and forth. Back and back forth. Back and forth. <laughs> did you get a, a, a hit? Which, by the way, you did a lot of work this week. Thank you. Yeah, someone was at the beach the whole time. Well, somebody's the Donette Logan show is what this is. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll introduce you to two of the tennis players, one whose dad is actually one of the coaches. Mainline Heating and Air Conditioning has been providing quality products since 1989. They love giving back to the community and they service all of the greater Birmingham area. Call them today or go to MainlineHeating.com. Serenity Salon and Spa in Helena offers hair services for men and women, facials, makeup application, and waxing. Book an appointment at serenity-salonandspa.com or call 205-624-2030. Visit them at 123 8th Place in Helena. Showcase your personal style at LJ's Retail Therapy. Shop their selection of clothing, shoes, gifts, and accessories in-store and online. Visit them on Highway 119, seven days a week in Alabaster beside Publix or at ljsretailtherapy.com. Drone Tech specializes in drone models, customization, training, and maintenance with the industry-leading Drone Deploy software to provide professional quality results. For more details, visit Michael Golden and the team at drone-tech.net or call 205-895-5099 and give them a follow on Facebook and Instagram. Shelby Fitz Company is a local family-owned business serving Shelby County and surrounding areas since 1989. You can count on our team of highly experienced installers to give you quality products, expert installation, and friendly customer service. For your next Fitz project, remember Shelby Fitz Company in Alabaster. We're here at Thompson High School at their tennis facility with two of the tennis players. I want you guys to introduce yourself. 
I'm Jack Farrell. Um, I'm a junior at Thompson High School. I'm Leba Machego, and I'm a junior at Thompson High School. Guys, we appreciate you guys joining us. I know your season's kind of getting going, almost getting close to the end. We're going to start with you, Jack. Tell me a little bit about the season so far. How's it been going for you guys? Uh, we finished most of our matches so far. We have a tournament coming up soon, and we're ready for it. I want to kind of move over to you now. I'm going to say your name wrong, so I'm going to try not to do that. You do. I know you guys do singles and doubles, both of you. What's the challenge when you transition between those two? Um, those is kind of when you start off, it's uh, together. So it's always, if it's you and your partner. So if something happens, it's on both of y'all. And as soon as you get into singles, you have to confine to a smaller space. And then you have to think, okay, this is on me. It's more of a mental thing rather than a physical thing. Jack, I always ask this question there are tennis players because I do find it interesting with it being an individual and a team sport because your scores kind of go to both. Yes, ma'am. What is the normal practice like for you guys knowing that? Uh, usually we play uh, challenge matches so we get that experience of playing deuce points and playing out points just so we have that pressure of deuce points and real games so that helps us for matches. I was talking to your coach earlier you know we talked about how you guys are in the 7A region 3 and that's challenging in every sport and tennis is the same. Who do you think is one of the biggest components for you guys? If I'm be honest it has to be any like Vestavia, Spain, Park or Hoover but if I'm going to go real on it I think it's Hoover. You know, it winds up being that for every sport across the board, I think. Hoover's I think very strong this year. They have a very good lineup. We see Thompson so. and Hoover, I think, going, I think that's going to be our next rival in every sport, it yeah. seems like, yes, going across the board. For people who haven't seen you guys play yet, you guys have a great facility out here. You've got six courts. What do you want the fans to know if they come out here to see you? I just want them to know that tennis is a fun sport. Whether or not you've played it or not, you can come out here, pick up a racket, and learn it any time. I'll help you. Lebo will help you. We'll teach you how to play. It's fun. Now, I see your dad out there. So is your dad one of the coaches on the team? Uh, yes, ma'am. Yeah, my dad is our, um, he's our pro for the, this year, yes. What is it like playing for your dad? <laughs> it's, he's it's, not here. He can't hear you. <laughs> it's different. Um, I go home, get my talking to, come back here. If I mess up again, <laughs> if I mess up again, it's on the courts after practice. Um, and the next day in the morning when we go out to practice, it's just... We're on court all day and I get talkings all the time. And tennis is just kind of in your blood, right? You've been yeah. playing since you're probably like this tall. Yes, ma'am, yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much. I appreciate you taking time to join us. I'll let you get back to practice. All right, all right thank, thank you. you. Jerry, you know our spring sports, they're hard at work. They usually wrap up towards the end of April for that postseason starts. But with Mother Nature, the schedules are all over the place. I would suggest finding the teams on Twitter and keeping up with them there. That's right. Go to Twitter is the best way because they – pretty much tweet out every day and especially if there's a schedule change because the schedule can be a rolling schedule because of weather like you say it changes all the time. It really does. On the next show we're going to introduce you to some members of the softball team. Some are ranked nationally. Great young ladies there and some of our ninth grade soccer players as well. Yeah, Going to be a great show. Good job Donette. Thanks Jerry. Yeah thanks for working while, we, while I was gone. And thank you guys for watching us each and every time we are here on Alabaster Living and thank you to our sponsors for making the show possible. We'll see you next time.